Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I last uploaded a video, so very sorry for that. But anyways, for our first video after being MIA, I created a poll last week. And based on the poll, this video has the highest vote. It is a new aesthetic laptop customization. And yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So for the first step is to open Canva and click on the create a design button. Next is to choose the custom size and we will set it into 1920 by 1080 pixels since this is usually the default size for a laptop wallpaper. Next is to look for a background. So in this case, since I wanted to have a pastel pink theme, so I'm gonna look for some pastel pink aesthetic photos on Canva. But of course, you can choose whatever background you want based on your theme. Then after choosing a photo, just maximize it to cover the whole canvas. Then here on the elements tab, I tried searching for a square shape and I just chose this rounded corner shape and adjust its size and you can choose a color that you want but in this case i chose a white color and adjust its transparency and you can also add some shadows to make it more realistic just adjust it so here i'm just adjusting the transparency so it will not be too harsh then you can lock the background photo so it will not move and then here i'm just adjusting again the shape so this will be the area where I will put the album and the moving vinyl CD player. Then on the design tab, I'm gonna search for a calendar wallpaper or a calendar template. Just modify it. So here instead of having a four columned calendar, I'm just gonna adjust it to have three columns so it will fit perfectly to the wallpaper. I also changed the font styles and the font color. And you can also modify your wallpaper based on the theme that you want. Then I'm just gonna add a 2024 text and place it at the side. Then in here, I search for a frame where we can put some photos and also add some shadows to make it pop and just adjust its transparency. Then just duplicate the frame. Next is go to Pinterest and search for some aesthetic photos you want to use on your wallpaper. And in here, I just again search for some pastel pink photos. And this is how it looks like as of the moment. Here, I added another shape. So I just duplicated the shape with the shadow that we added a while ago. Then I duplicated one more time to have this area for our apps or for the softwares. And you can also add some title depending on your style. And on the elements tab, here I search for some film strip and I choose this design. You can also modify the color and I just added some additional photos. I also added another frame and add some more photos. Next, we're gonna go again to Pinterest and search for some PNG photos. So in here, let's look for some camera. So this, it depends on the style that you want, but in my case, I'd like to add some camera and this cute teddy bear some bows and a paper clip just download the images and then upload it to canva so if you're a pro user just use the background remover option but if you don't have a pro account you can search for some free remove background websites on the internet and you can easily remove the background of the png photos just adjust them and here I just place them to on where I wanted them to be and in here I also added 
some drop shadows to make them pop and this is how it looks like as of the moment and as we can see here there is still a blank shape and in that case i'm planning to add a vinyl style widget so to do that just search for the album cover that you want and then search for the cd then upload the images to canva and here i added first the album cover so since i'm creating for a pink theme wallpaper i just chose this lover album by taylor swift and search for a cd frame and adjust its size then here we can add a cd picture and just duplicate it once again adjust the size and add the middle part of the vinyl then just group the two frames and add some motion effects so just choose the rotate motion to have this rotating vinyl design you can also search for a play music button to make it more realistic and this is how it looks like as of the moment next i wanted to add a slideshow photo for the camera so in here i added additional page then add the png camera next is to add some frame then duplicate it based on the number of photos you want to show on the camera then you can apply the photos that you want and adjust their position so that the photo will be placed at the back of the png photo of the camera download the photos and click for the gif option after downloading the image, upload it again to Canva and just adjust its size so it will fit the camera part of the wallpaper. And this is how it looks like as of the moment. Do or make some adjustments if you want to edit something. And if you're already happy with how it looks, click on the share button and set it as a GIF so that you will have this moving vinyl player. And to set the GIF photo as your wallpaper, you have to download first the lively wallpaper on Microsoft Store in your laptop. After downloading it, just open the app, click on the plus icon and select the wallpaper we made a while ago. And after that, just click on the wallpaper again and there you have it so if you want to have a copy of this gif wallpaper i will leave the link below in the description box so you can easily open and save it and yes that is all for today's video guys thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video bye guys